When we say food stamps, what comes to mind? The millions who rely on them, the 80 billion a year spent on them, or concerns about those who are gaming the system when they can afford food for their families? Well, there's no question that some people need the Lone Star card to feed their families, while others cheat the system. But tonight, News 4 San Antonio's Jay Avila is looking into those who may be gaming the system right here in tonight's Troubleshooter Investigation. I've got my winnies. My favorite winner. 79 year old Valentine Tristan is one of the 47 million Americans receiving food stamp assistance. I've got my tortillas. Without it, the retired Army vet says he'd have a hard time keeping enough food in the kitchen. I got my. Long store card, I buy what I need for the whole month. It sure helps a lot. But documents obtained by News 4 San Antonio show some recipients are freeloaders, taking advantage of our tax dollars. Last year, the state prosecuted 175 people in Bear County for Lone Star card fraud. There are families who need it. But these are individuals who are, for whatever reason, uh, really wouldn't be eligible, but are scamming the system. This woman, Sarah Thom, was indicted for allegedly underreporting her income. State investigators claim she earned as much as $5,300 a month while working as an office manager at a dental office. But still, she signed up for and received food stamp and other benefits of more than $20,000. I'm innocent until proven guilty. Mm -hmm. Thom is awaiting her day in court, so she didn't want to say much, but her husband told us the couple didn't know they were supposed to include all of her pay, including her overtime and child support from a previous marriage as part of their income. And there's more. State investigators accuse this woman, Dorothy Halomo, of fraudulently collecting more than $29,000 worth of welfare benefits. Halomo told them she was supporting her four children, but investigators say they had all been taken away by Child Protective Services at the time. Halomo admits she did lose custody of the kids after being arrested on a charge of causing injury to a child, but she says the children came back to live with her once she got out of jail, and she had the right to apply for food stamps. I'll pay everything back. That's what they're crying about, the money, but the fact and the reality, it's my kids were with me. But the most brazen case, investigators say, involves this woman, Raquel Del Bosque. She collected more than $16,000 in benefits after claiming she was supporting two kids and three grandkids on her own modest salary. But Del Bosque neglected to tell investigators that her husband also lived in the home, and he had a job working for the State Department of Criminal Justice. Here their husband is drawing a salary from the taxpayers as a government employee and then they turn around and scam the government. Raquel Del Bosque pleaded no contest and received deferred adjudication. She did not return our phone call. We attempted to talk to her husband who was not charged. Were you aware that your wife was understating the income for the household to get food stamp benefits? No sir. He asked us to turn off the camera then drove away. Well, investigators say many people who fraudulently obtain food stamps don't use them to make ends meet, but rather sell them on the black market. And that sends your tax dollars flowing to places it was never intended to go, like over the border into Mexico. An undercover investigator with the state breaks her silence to reveal this cross-border fraud she says takes place every day. And our camera captures it happening right out in the open. That's coming up tomorrow night at 10. Beamer and Delane. All right, thanks, Jay. Look forward.